Have you ever attracted someone who just looks really good on the outside, but then when you get onto the inside, it's like a deep, dark plague of war, misery, and destruction? Then you sit back and wonder, what the f did I do in a previous life to attract these types of people? Well, fear not, you sexy single lady. There might be some emotional reasons why it is that you are attracting these types of people, and the good news is this is totally within your control. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Little, it's here from lovestrategies.com where we help successful single women get out there and attract long lasting love and do it with a proven strategy. And in this video, we are going to be talking about being intentional about the people you allow into your life. Because here's the reality of attracting love. No one just attracts broken people. They choose broken people. And even worse, sometimes we are attracted to broken people. And there's sometimes this invisible force that just draws us magnetically to some people and really repels us from others. So the first step to all this is taking responsibility for the people we allow into our life because everyone in our life that we allow into our life, except for our children, everyone that we allow into our life we choose to keep them in our life. So let's talk about why it is that you might be keeping these types of broken people in your life. Reason number one is that it's just comfortable. If you look back growing up with your relationship with your parents or your parents' relationship with each other, that is likely going to have a massive impact on your romantic life today. Because as humans, we are usually drawn to things that are comfortable to us, not the things that make us happy, the things that are comfortable for us. And if you grew up in a household that was toxic or you had a parental relationship that really was broken or didn't work, it's likely you are going to be drawn to those types of relationships because once again, it's all you know. I had a client the other day, her name is Alex, and she told me I can tell this story so I'm going to reveal it now. And she grew up in a household with a very strict father. He was a police officer, he would come home, nothing against police officers, but he happened to be very strict. He was aggressive, he was intense, and when he came home, he would be constantly screaming. He also had an alcohol problem. Needless to say, later on in life, when she was going out there and attracting love, she was just like brrr, just going through different types of men and attracting these same types of toxic guys who were aggressive. Actually, many of them had substance abuse issues. And it wasn't until she came head on with this and realized through our program and a lot of the work that we do in Love Accelerator, she realized that she was actually choosing these types of guys because it reminded her of her childhood. Once she had that awareness, it allowed herself to take a step back and start allowing different types of men into their life. And it wasn't until recently where she attracted a very different type of guy into her life, a much kinder man, a much gentler guy. And all along the way, she's been coming to our coaching sessions and she's been really working through this because it's been very challenging for her to stick with this guy. Because at every single stage of the process, she, her internal dialogue is just run, run from this guy. It's boring, he's uninteresting, he's not attractive to me, blah, 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 blah. But that is simply just her emotional experience coming into play now, her experience with her childhood. And so we're having her hold strong right now with this guy. And remember this one thing, healthy relationships can be boring and that is perfectly okay. Toxic relationships are emotionally volatile. They're all over the place. Once again, if you come from an emotionally volatile childhood and that is all you know, then it's gonna be very important for you to be very intentional about sticking with the relationships that tend to feel a little bit more boring but actually serve you in the long run. Now, the second reason why it is that you might attract broken men is you have trouble saying one of the most powerful words in the English language and that is, no. Are you the type of person who just says yes to everyone in your life? If they ask you for favors, they're even taking advantage of you. Or do you just like, want to be a kind person who just says yes to everyone? If so, it is likely that you are going to attract blood-sucking emotional vampires into your life who are broken and going to destroy your love life. Saying no to people is very hard. 
especially if you are a people pleaser or a giver. But until you take responsibility for this and you start actually standing up for yourself, you are just going to continue attracting these types of people. So it's time from this day forward, I want you to leave a comment right there below if you've had trouble doing this, it's time from this day forward to start saying no to the wrong people and just start saying yes to the right people. And finally, the third reason why it is you might attract broken people is that you let your emotions control every decision in your life. A lot of people when they're dating and going out there and trying to find love, they lead with their emotions as if what it is that they're feeling is a fact. If I feel this way about a person, it must be true. And what tends to happen is once we start bringing some strategies to their love life, we start talking much more about the rational side of things when it comes to attracting love, the strategy. And look, I'm not trying to stop you from feeling emotions. I want you to feel the most incredible emotion, which is love. But in order to get there, you need to bring some strategies, bring some rationality to the process. And if you allow yourself to just go wherever it is that your heart takes you, and if you feel it, it must be true. And oh my God, he just seems like the perfect person. So I'm going to stop talking to everyone else and just invest all my energy into this guy. If you do that, you're going to constantly be attracting broken people in your life. Buck stops here. It's time to bring a little bit of strategy to your love life. And if you aren't in Love Accelerator, that's totally cool. Find people in your life who can support you and keep you rational. If you don't have those types of people, we have an incredible community in Love Accelerator. It's all about community. We all hold each other accountable. It's an incredible thing. And if you wanna be a part of that, you can head on over to lovestrategies.com. We have a free uh, training there that's gonna teach you all about our process for coaching. Um, but if not, just be a part of this community here, the free community here on YouTube. So leave a comment right there below. Tell us a little bit about how it is that you are going to hold yourself accountable to keeping those broken people out of your life and start attracting the right type of people moving forward. And other than that, Look, life is too short for broken people. You can't fix someone who is broken. And if you are really ready to attract the right type of person, it's time to say that magical four letter word, which is next, and move on to the next person so you can finally live the life you deserve to live. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.